Welcome back. In the previous video, we created our action to register the user. So let me quickly export this and then we move on to the next session for this video. And then we call this one user register. Is it register user action? Yeah, we are done for that. So in this video, I'm going to focus on the reducer for the creating of the user. So let me head over to my redux folder and inside my reducers let me create one folder there called users okay users like that and i will create one file inside my users one reducer called user of reducer so all my authentication stuff i'm going to handle it inside my off reducer so here, as always, a function, reduce as a function, right? So let me call this one user reducer. All right, it's equal to normal function. But this function requires two argument, our state, initial state, empty string, and my action that is coming into this reducer. And I'm going to check for an action that is coming in. If action... On action property if the type is equal to our case let me say the type and what type that's the case value if the type is called user register request I think I didn't have the auto import so what you can do is I will normally go to the action types here sorry what's my action types here save it again and we save it and then come back and then let's try to auto import and I think Sometimes that's how it fix. As I told you, you have this fix. User register request and then it's imported successfully for me. So here, we're going to return a state that will be available. And you will say that um, put loading, like I told you, when you have the user request, put loading to true. Like that. And if everything goes on well, if you have a case, a case of user register success, user register success, then we will return a new state and we will say that user info, user info is equal to the actual return value coming from our request. So this will come from the back end after our user action has been requested at the back end and we have this so this is what you're going to return this one so and then if if something goes wrong and then we can say here after this case we can say if a case is user register fail uh, user register fail then we will return the error so you can see um, error. Sorry, we have the error object with the error properties on it. One more time, mistake about the error like that. Oh my God. All right, and we will say action dot payload, right? So here will be action dot payload and then we will say loading to be so at this point we are assured that loading is false okay so now we have it so let's head over to our store and then pull add this reducer to our store because as it stands right now when you go to our browser and then let's open the dev2 and let me make it bigger here. I would like to open it inside a new desktop. I can see it well. All right. So let me make it large. Like that. So when we look at our state, you've made a couple of requests here, as you can see. So let me refresh again, and then you can have the update. So first, I think we made a request. We have the fetch that is coming. So let's see, as you can see, on the component mount, 
at the first start we have it and our book has been filled with the data coming back so let me head over to the actual state right as you can see we have two reducers book created and book list we want to add the user of reducer into into the mix so let's go back to the store i always let me bring it here like that let's head over to our store and then do that so here we have to add it to our combined reducers let's go over to our store and here we have now we have two reducers book and book list so here i will make use of um in user details right or user um or should i make it user profile or user login or user what okay let me make it user login okay so let me make it user login to be um and then what um what kind of reducer do we need we need user reducer of so let me export it here to so export and then user reducer so let me help out to um, import the user reducer here auto import correct so let's try now we have it added so let's head over to our um let me save it and then oh guys as you can see i was making mistake because for the user login uh, reducer at first we don't have any action coming in so by default it says that we have to explicitly tell that how to pass some initial value so when you go back to our reducer one more time and as you can see i'm not returning the state initial state so here the last is what default when there's no action coming in into this reducer we have to return the the state itself so that we don't have that kind of error so let's refresh it and then let's go over to our react dev2 as you can see user login all right so now we have that so when a user is registered and a user login we are, we are going to get the same data we will put that data inside this um reducer and we have it so we are going to make use of this user login to make logic to show that whether a user has been registered or not so this is how we, we, we do the register um, register user re register reducer so in the next video we will create a form and then for the user to make the actual uh, register registration register and you can register from our front end thanks for watching